coins spilled out from the book, continuously dropping to the floor. Even closing the book couldn't stop the flood of coins. The book spun around on the ground, forcing the boy to stand on his bed to avoid being overwhelmed by the coins. One day, while reading, a coin fell out of the book. The boy didn't pay much attention, but soon more coins started pouring out, making it impossible for him to read. He tried switching to another book, but the coins kept coming. Frustrated, he picked up two books at once, doubling the number of coins. A sudden idea struck him. He immediately bought a new book. From that day on, he never had to work again. As long as he kept reading, the coins kept coming. The books he read piled up into a mountain. He also discovered a pattern. The more complex the book, the more money he received. So, he bought a math textbook. Instantly, the book started shaking, and countless coins gushed out. Within an hour, the entire floor was covered with coins. With nowhere to escape, he leaned against the wall, waiting for the coins to reach his head. Eventually, the house couldn't contain the pressure, and coins burst out of the windows. This fantastical story, where a magical book endlessly produces coins, explores the relationship between desire and knowledge. It offers the audience profound reflections and warnings. The climax and conclusion of the story are not only thrilling, but also carry deep meaning.